Jill, how do pitches affect people? Pitches have a profound effect on people, and people, for the most part, are unaware of the impact of pitches. First of all, pitches, simply put, are just how high or low a note is. On a high pitch, all sound waves are like little humps, like a linchworm, and a high pitch has faster and smaller frequencies, or more, more humps in the inchworm in a given period of time. Since we are really not a solid physical body, but we're just energy, like electrons moving around in um, a nucleus, we are energy, and when a pitch or another frequency, which is another source of energy, inter mingles with us, the two frequencies or energies or pitches um, affect one another. And that's real simple science. Um, I remember from fourth grade where we had a science book and they had this picture of all these grandfather clocks. And they're in a clock store going tick, tick, tick. And then there was a couple little tiny ones that were going tick, 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 tick at a faster rate. And over time, the little ones started going tick, tick, and they were in harmony and in rhythm with the stronger vibration of the bigger clocks. And that's how sounds affect one another. It's the, oh, the, the stronger vibration is going to overcome the lesser one, and the lesser one is going to vibrate in sync or in harmony. And maybe that's a little bit about life. Energy tries to harmonize. If you go out in your backyard at night and listen to the owls, chances are they're going to sing in a perfect fifth. They're going to harmonize. And so um, there was a French scientist. His name is his name is Joel Sternheimer, and he is a physicist. And he was able to record melodies from amino acids in plants, and the amino acids build proteins. And he was able to record them and play them back to the plant. And when he did that, when he played the plant's protein song back to the plant, he was able to document 250% plant growth plus um, increased resilience to drought and disease. So really songs could answer our world hunger problem. And what was kind of an aside but kind of cute was some of the songs were O Solo Mio and one was a Blue Danube. They, um, they recognized some of the classic songs or they were very similar to them. But another thing is, is how, how the science of how a pitch is going to in, improve a plant growth is another just simple phenomenon. Sound waves kind of go up and down um, from science class, if you remember, looking like bumps of an inchworm. And when two sound waves come together, and if they, the, the high parts tend to overlap, then the sound wave doubles in size. And it gets more energy, and it becomes more powerful, and you get 250% plant growth. However, if you were to have them synced so that the high part of the wave hit this, the other, a second low part, they would cancel each other out. Therefore, you would be able to use songs that are a little out of sync for weed control because it would actually have the reverse effect. It could um, take the energy and growth away from a plant. So you could have songs for plant growth for your food and the wanted items and for the weeds instead of pesticides that poison our earth and our bodies and our children. You could have songs. Wouldn't that be cool? Um, they've also been able to determine pitches of things such as your DNA, which is 528 hertz. Um, and hertz is simply how many little sine waves you have in a given period of time. And they found pitches in your, or frequencies or pitches in your brain waves. So they know that alpha, beta, delta, and theta, when you're sleeping, you're in theta, which is a faster, smaller vibration. And you have different states of consciousness with different states of frequencies or pitches in your brain waves. Um, for example, when your brain is vibrating in deep sleep, in very fine vibrations, your body produces chemicals. Your body produces endomorphins, it produces um, 
catecholamines and um, catecholamines help you uh, learn and they increase your memory and endomorphins make you feel good and you can produce DHEA which improves your resilience to disease and you can lower your cortisol and cortisol is a um, is a chemical that ages the body and you can um, produce vasopressin which increases your serotonin and that eases pain you can produce melatonin for sleep now you can also buy these at um, the nutrition store but they're expensive and then you have the question of whether or not you take the vita uh, vitamin whether or not you ingest it but if you listen to it at a certain brain frequency you can create it um, organically in your brain and it has wonderful potentials so that's a little bit about pitches Thank you. Huh?